gorgeous girls. I'm back here today to show you some empties because as I haven't been on YouTube for a while, I've been using up a lot of products. Uh, and also I had a challenge, so I have managed to finish quite a few things. So let me show you what I have finished and whether I would repurchase it or not. Starting off with a product from the challenge is this hand cream by Cowshed. It's the Cowpat Moisturizing Hand Cream. And I have to say that it's a nice hand cream. It's got a nice fragrance, absorbs quite quickly. It's not the fastest, I must say, to absorb. Uh, and yeah, I might buy it again. It's, it smells nice. Another product from my challenge is this. It's the By Terry CC Cream. And uh, this I really, really enjoy. This is a lovely coloured cream that has really good ingredients uh, for your skin. And uh, yes, it's expensive, but it was lovely to use. And I would probably purchase it again because um, it was lovely to use and you feel that you're using good ingredients. Another product that I finished that I really enjoyed is this. It's the Cordial makeup removing cleansing oil. I really love cleansing oils. I think they're really good to get rid of all the makeup from your skin. And this one by Caudalie is cheap and cheerful and does the job, so great. This next product is from a previous challenge and it's a lip gloss. Yay, I managed to finish a lip gloss. It's the Laura Geller Color Drenched Lip Gloss in the shade Melon Infusion. Lovely lip gloss, not sticky whatsoever, nice color for summer and it looks great on my skin tone. Um, and uh, would I buy it again? Yeah, probably, although I'm not much of a lip gloss girl, I have to say, so. <laughs> I never, never buy lip glosses, basically. This is from this year's challenge, and it's this MAC uh, brow product. I can't remember what it's called, actually. And uh, I would not buy this again. I have to say that when you first apply it, it seems okay, but as the time passes, I don't know why, it looks a bit clumpy. It, it, it doesn't look natural. And it's a shame because for the amount of product you get, the price is really good. So I don't think I'll purchase this again. This next skincare product is a real favorite. It's the Freezy Derm Sunscreen New Velvet Technology. And this has SPF 30, but it's not only a sunscreen, it also provides like, as if it were a primer, and it's mattifying, it's got silicone, so it makes your makeup look really good, last long, and stay matte. So this is really, really great. Only two days ago I finished this product, and it's a foundation. It's the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Velvet, and this is in the shade B20, beige 20. And I really like it, it's got a lovely velvety finish, very natural on the skin, but this shade is a little dark on me, and at least here in Spain it's the lightest I can get. So I can only wear this in the summer, and I still look a little bit darkish, so I don't think I'll buy this again, at least not in this shade. I seem to have finished a lot of foundations and the like, because here is another one, it's the Makeup Forever HD Foundation. This is the original HD foundation, and I used to love this foundation. It just looks amazing on camera. Every time I wear it, somebody would ask me here on the comments. Unfortunately, they don't sell it anymore, and the new one is not quite as good, so I don't know. Maybe I can give the new one another chance and see. Another favorite, but this is body care, is the Revlon Oil and Go. This is wonderful. Uh, you apply this on the skin once you've left the shower and you don't need to rinse it, you just dry it with your towel. And it's like an oil that is not greasy on the skin, but it really leaves your skin hydrated. I really, really like this and I definitely recommend it. Another body care product is the Rituals, uh, Ritual of the Sakura Sensational Foaming Shower Gel. This I got in Space NK, I think, and it's lovely. Really, really the sort of pampering product. Unfortunately, I don't know why, it must have lost pressure or something because it didn't come out as a foam. It was just like a bit of liquid, but it did its job anyway. Uh, I really, really like this. I managed to finish a fragrance uh, recently, and it's this. It's the Daisy Dream by Marc Jacobs. It's a lovely fragrance for spring and summer because it's very fresh and fruity and very, very lovely. And um, yes, I would probably buy it once again. Oh, who's there? It's Kid Astrid. <laughs> I always seem to show you a dry shampoo and I'm going to show you another dry shampoo. It's this. It's the Colab uh, Sheer and Invisible Dry Shampoo. This is in the fragrance Paris. I have to say that I just love Batiste. I still prefer Batiste over others because it's cheaper and it really, really extends your hair do if you know what I mean. This one is great for providing a little bit of texture to the, to the hair and all that, and it really is invisible, 
but I don't think it does such a good job of eliminating that greasy look to your hair. But anyway, it's a nice uh, shampoo, but I still prefer Batiste. This next product is a clear favorite, is the Charlotte Tilbury The Retoucher. It's a conceal and treat stick, and I really, really like it. It's a bit like the Yves Saint Laurent Touche Eclat, but this is to be used um, basically as a concealer. And uh, it's lovely because it does not crease. I love it for the under eye area and it's quite brightening. But if you've got very dark under eye circles or you really want to conceal like spots or the like, perhaps it's a little light, it's not very thick. Uh, but nevertheless, I love this and I would definitely repurchase it. The next product is also from the challenge and it's the Life Jumpstart Sugar Scrub. And I really, really like this exfoliator because it does feel like sugar. It's got thick sort of nice grain to scrub properly. I like a thick scrub uh, and it smells really good. So I would buy it. Another product, which is also from this year's challenge, is this. It's the Nooks Aroma Perfection uh, Unclogging Thermoactive Mask. And uh, this is nice. Um, it's for combination and oily skin, but it's not one of these super powerful ones. So if you're looking for a mask which is not super clarifying on the skin, but it's just nice to use, this one's a great option. Finally, the last empty I'm going to show you is a mascara. It's this one. It's the NARS Audacious Mascara. This is a sample sized one, actually. And I have to say that it's quite disappointing. I don't like it whatsoever. The spoolie seems to be like a torture weapon. The first time I tried this, I almost, I don't know, I almost took my eyes out of something. It's really hard and plastic. And I don't know, it was very dry, a bit flaky, and it's not a cheap mascara, so I wouldn't buy it again. So those have been all my recent uh, empties. I hope you enjoyed this video. There's still a few more in my challenge. I'm still going at them, but I have to say that some of them I'm finding harder to use now with the baby because um, some of them have like glitter, like the, the blush. So I don't think I'll carry on using it because I don't really want to cover her in glitter. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Press thumbs up and comment down below. Ask me any questions you like. I'm happy to answer and don't forget to subscribe. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.